Would you like me to coach you with my special bubble? It will let you stay underwater for a long period of time, but if you lose 10% of HP, your bubble will pop. Okay. Gravitoa's fort. Marine fort overseen by Gravito. Obviously, that's Fujitora. Um, grab her. <laughs> grab her. Oh, I love this fruit. Absolutely love this fruit, man. It's freaking beautiful. <laughs> But I might sound a little tired. Um, I'm just hoping that as I start recording, I don't sound as tired because people always comment, Slaha, you sound so dead. Slaha, you sound so tired. I'm legitimately tired this video, y'all. Like, I'm actually tired. But um, yeah, let's get into the showcase. And if anybody's wondering what the watermarks is on the stream, that's just so that testers can't leak. And if any testers leak crap, like they'll get removed from testing because you're not supposed to leak before the update drops. But First move for gravity that I'm gonna be using is gravity fly. Now this is a basic move. Um, it changes the material based off of what you're standing on. So as y'all can see, I was standing on grass and it changed to grass. So fairly simple. Um, one thing I really like about this move is that uh, if you're using it above water or any other like material, it works as how it work in real life, which is what I like. I like the realism with this route like uh let me just go above water right quick as y'all can see it kind of levitates over it and has like a little uh little water particle effect and it does the same for the ground too so i really like that it's it's very detailed i love it a lot this was actually completed really really fast which is super surprising but uh yeah next we want to go over is <laughs> okay then next two moves i want to go over are gravity push and gravity pull these are going to be your main combo starters and just Ah, oh, brain dead, man. But we'll start off with gravity pull. So if I use R, Amir, and do this, I mean, it's a combo. <laughs> it's like the easiest combo in the game to pull off. I mean, it's gravity, man. This fruit is going to be brain dead for combos. Like, I would say even more so than here in certain circumstances. But yeah, normally you would do this. I don't know. Wait, wait, what? My hits just didn't connect? Wait a second. Pull him back. Do it again. Then if that were still alive, do that. And that's the one combo for that thing of that thing's amount of HP. I'm just gonna see if I can do it one more time and actually like do the full one combo. Uh I'll take you, I guess. I messed it up already. I messed it up already. Alright, one second. Take two, take two. So doing <laughs> do a full M1 combo. Pull them back. Oh. How did I miss that? Oh, that's another thing, by the way. Um you can actually change the range of the uh, pull and push. The longer you hold the key out, the farther the ability goes. So if I'd held that out a little bit longer, I would have done it right. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Come back. Oh my god. How is that even possible, dude? Okay, please just get it right this time, Chris. Pull him back. Then finish him off. That's how you do it. That took so many times. That took so many tries. It's not even funny. But yeah, that's the basic gravity combo. Now, obviously, that's only one gravity combo. There's more. Trust me, there are more. I haven't really used this for all that much, so I don't know all of them. But trust me, there's another combo I know about. So next we want to showcase is gravity dominance. You use this. Okay, so you have to be like flat on the ground to use it. Okay, I'm just going to push this away. So gravity dominance. Um, I don't know if you guys play a game called Blocks Roots, but I used to play it a lot. And when I played it, uh, the new world wasn't actually a thing yet, and the gravity fruit was the last fruit to be released. So I actually can say with like full confidence that this is just. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need you to stop. You're being kind of rude. This is kind of just the same thing as the block suits version, but this is what it looks like. Gravity dominance, and the longer you use it, the bigger it gets. Now I can only use that for a few seconds before it went away, so I don't know how useful this is gonna be in PvP. I don't know. It'll probably be useful because people find ways to make use out of like the weirdest things. I guess if somebody's against the wall like this, you could like push them into a wall and then dominance them like this. But they'd have to be real stupid to like let you do that. I don't know. Would that work? Then the question is, does this thing work if you're like above them? So if I come over here and use gravity dominance. Oh, it does. Wait, wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, well, that kind of makes this route a little weird. OK, well, now for the two moves. Um. I highly don't know which one of these block breaks because I never really, you know, checked. I'm pretty sure that the Meteor Strike is the one that block breaks and then Fury just hurts a lot. But let's get into it. So the first 
to last move is Meteor Strike. Here's what this looks like. Purple Aura above you and Simple Meteor comes back down. Now I do have a lot of stats in Del Fruit, so I don't want to say how much damage that did, even though you guys could probably see because these are stats that are boosted for testing purposes. Obviously, you guys aren't going to have as high stats as I do because, like I said, this is purely for testing purposes. But yeah, moving on. Um, the second move is the Meteor Fury. And you, I'll show you guys this. You can actually, first off, before I even get to that, you can actually hop up on here and direct the Meteor while on the, the flight move. So you can fly while you're using moves like I guess you'd be able to, which is sick. I think well, you might have actually showed this as well, but you basically summon a Fury of Meteors. Pretty busted. I don't know why I thought it was only 6. It looks like it's like 8 to 12. I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, I think that's it for the Meteor. Alright, not even. You can still use moves while you're up here. If I'm not mistaken, you can combo people. Like, if you can grab them perfectly. Uh, I'm going to have to try this really quick. Let me try using pull and grabbing somebody and doing a combo. Oh, you can. <laughs> I just hit that dude twice while I'm in the air. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to be good. Um, can I use Dominus while I'm up here? No, uh, but I can use push and I can use pull. Come here. All right, well, that's, uh, that's fair, I'd say. Now, uh, what was it? Was it I slash Gravito Kane? Okay, I forgot the, I forgot the, I got the, can't speak English. I forgot the command for the Kane. Um, I gotta go get the Kane right quick and then I'll showcase that next. Okay, slash I Gravity Blade. Wait, what? Wasn't that the command? Okay, thank you. This took so long. Like, I was just sitting there looking at... Alright, anyways. A long blade used by the saw shark. Uh, I don't know if that was used by the saw shark, but, I mean... Yeah, okay, this thing looks freaking beautiful, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks great. Wonder who modeled this, Benary or Ota? Oh, this looks crazy. Alright, anyways, um, two skills. First skill is gravity field. Uh, okay, that doesn't have hyper armor. And then second move is gravity frenzy. Neither of the gravity blade moves have hyper armor. This thing's range though. This thing's range is crazy. Okay, alright, I'll mess with it. Has some heavy range on it. I dig it. Plus the attack speed is really good. Alright, yeah, I'll be going for this for sure. Soon as this thing drops, soon as this thing drops in the updates, I'll be going for this for sure. Believe that. Alright, so gravity field. Uh, I like that, okay. It's like how Fujitora's thing actually worked. So wherever you use your move, a short gravity field and then gravity frenzy. Now, I'm pretty sure for this one, if you're close enough to them, they'll actually get pulled in. And I wonder if gravity field is mouse aimed. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. All right, gravity frenzy. Oh, you pulled them both. Okay, so you can put multiple people in. All right, that's cool. This route is going to be hyped up. This fruit is really getting me hyped up. I might, might low-key want this fruit instead of Phoenix. I mean, just look at this. Imagine you're 2v1-ing, and you're fighting a gravity user, and they have this. Like, come on, dude. This is such a cool weapon. Who wouldn't want this? And then the blocking animation, too? And what, you're just sitting here? No, I don't have hockey. Um, If I had hockey, it'd probably look really cool, but unfortunately, I don't. Uh... I don't know the command to give myself max hockey either, so that kind of sucks, but it's all right. Let's see what the range on gravity field is. Like, can I hit that from all the way over here? Oh, you can. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good, especially in team battles. What about gravity frenzy? No, that has to be really close. Okay. All right. I'm not mad at it. I need you to die, though. You're kind of annoying. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to meteor strike you. I used the wrong one. Yeah, these meteors are doing 95 per. That is not bad at all. Okay, 95 per. I will take that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Anyways, let's think of a good combo. So I have the, um, I think this is called the Murica something. I don't know. Murica Bar or some crap like that. I'm going to get clowned on if I got that wrong, but a good combo. What would a good combo for this be? Oh, I think I have one actually. So gravity field into gravity dominant, that works. That actually works. That combo works. Gravity field into gravity dominant, that works. All right, okay, wait a second. So we gotta try that. Back up for me. I only need one of you alive. Yeah, I'll take you, I'll take you. Let's get out of here though. So if I use gravity field 
and then I proceed to use gravity dominance, there's just enough time on it for it to actually work. All right, I like that. So that's high key a good combo. All right, we can use that. Gravity field into gravity dominance. Now, I need something for gravity frenzy. Now, I guess I could use gravity field and then gravity frenzy like that. There. Okay, I missed that. I wait for the cooldown. Did I just hit him into that? I think I just hit him into that. So high key, that's not a bad method of doing things either. You could hit people into it. I like that. Okay, anyways, gravity field into gravity frenzy. Now, some people would say, Sly, why would you do that when you just do gravity frenzy? I could see, see, I see the point of doing just a gravity, regular old gravity frenzy. I can understand why you would do that as well, but I can also kind of understand why you would do the opposite because it makes it much easier to hit if you do gravity field into gravity frenzy. That and obviously you're doing more damage. Now, what is the max range on gravity field? Wow. It hit from all the way over here. Okay. This thing is going to be interesting in PvP. That's all I can say. Gravity frenzy. Grab her. <laughs> Grab her. Oh, I love this fruit. I absolutely love this fruit, man. It's freaking beautiful. Plus the range. I feel like Sephiroth. I don't know if y'all play Super Smash Bros. or Final Fantasy. I feel like Sephiroth with this big long sword. That sounded kind of sus. I'm not going to lie. Pause, pause, pause. I love it though. I love it. I love this fruit. Okay. Um, should I showcase Fishman Karate this video too? Eh, why not? Anyways, okay. Uh, I gotta put points into it if I want to showcase it this video though. Oh, so if you don't have the sword equipped, it just stays in your hand like this. Okay, I don't think the sword is complete because I don't think it's supposed to be doing this like that. Unless it is. Is this supposed to be doing this like that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Gonna go and unequip the gravity blade because I want to showcase Fishman Karate. And there is a new staff for Fishman Karate. Unlocks Fishman Karate skills and boost damage. Gonna go ahead and put all my points into that. And let's get into it. So this is what the basic fighting stance looks like. Pretty simple. It's like how Jinbei fought in the actual anime. I dig it. First move. 5,000 Brick Fist. Looks like a basic... Uh, what was that move that they had? Uh, Shigon. Looks like basic Shigon. Cooldown is really low too. Okay, I don't, I don't want two of these on me. So M1 combo, M1, M1... She gone. I mean, <laughs> 5,000 break fist. Okay, 5,000 break fist. Fairly simple combo. I did not put any points into what I needed to. Okay, I feel stupid. Okay, there we go. My point should actually be decent now. Um, First move, 5,000 break fist. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. My damage is good now. All right, that's what I wanted. For some reason, I wasn't doing any damage. The second move of Fishman Karate is Water Prison. Um, You got to be really close for this to work. And it's going to be interesting in PvP because it's kind of hard to hit. But if you can hit it, it does this. I don't really think you're going to be able to attack people in the air like that if you're alone. If you're in a group, obviously, it'll be much easier. I'm going to just showcase that one more time. It doesn't have hyper armor, by the way. That's actually way faster than I thought it was. What a breakfast. Does a lot of damage depending on how much Delph Fruits that you have in there. And the third move is Shark Barrage. Just like that. 35 damage per. Really high stat in, Del in my uh, Shark Karate right now, though. So that's why it does so much. 5,000 breakfast, back up for me. Water prison is basically instant now. Then second to last move, water serpent. That is really cool. I'm gonna just showcase that one more time. I wonder what the range on this is. Uh, not that long. Last move is water bomb. This is basically just a water Ankai. Fishman Karate Ankai, that's all this is really. Eat that. Oh, I just completely missed that. <laughs> I just completely missed that. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, 5,000 breakfast, water serpents, shark barrage. And uh, that's it, man. That's really it for the showcase. I will catch you on the next video.